good morning today I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna have a walk in Glen Navis I'm not gonna climb the Ben Navis peak but I like to check out a waterfall which is called Stan Falls I just stopped here uh, because I really liked those pine trees in the background. There was some cloud coming in and they were acting as a backdrop for the pine trees. It, is, it, it, was, it is still quite fast moving so you can't really see anything now but the most important thing it's already on the camera so I'm going to drive further uh, to the car park and start my walk from there I have arrived to the car park and actually the waterfall is called Star Falls, not Stan Falls. My bad. So now I am heading down on the path and try to find the waterfall. And the uh, plan is when I'm on the way back I'm gonna stop and shooting the waterfalls on the river Nevis and the mountains, surrounding mountains, although there are not much snow on the peaks here, but it can still look good. Or I can go uh, deep into the details, but then I need to find some nice waterfalls when there are some green colors in the surroundings, like mossy rocks or something. Otherwise, it's uh, going to look a little bit uh, flat and I don't want that. So I prefer uh, uh, when there are some green around the main interest. But I have the feeling I'm going to be okay if you look at the trees around here they all covered in moss so hopefully the rocks in the river do the same so this is what i meant look at the moss on the rocks and the tree trunks this is something i can work with when shooting a smaller waterfalls it's not smaller but it's beautiful. I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna be able to shoot waterfalls on the water of Nevis because it's down there. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get this close to the river of Nevis but it seems that the path leads to that direction next to the river there are lots of water in it of course it's the middle of winter recently there was an enormous amount of rain and snow especially here in Scotland so 
not really what I want to shoot, but as I said earlier, I was going to go for the little streams and the waterfalls on those joining uh, waters. Holy moly, that is a view to be had. Oh my God. That water is coming down from probably about 50, 60 meter high down into the river. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna set up my tripod and capture here. That tree on the bottom right is really, really contributing nicely to the composition. And not much can be seen from the peaks. It's quite foggy. But I don't mind. I'm just gonna take the shot anyway. I'm basically all alone on this track now. I only met one hiker coming from the other end, but that was all. And uh, she mentioned that she hasn't met anyone, probably because it's a Thursday and it's winter. I can imagine in summer this path is very popular and packed with walkers, families, hikers, dog walkers, and so on and so forth. So that's the advantage if you come in winter, that uh, the most touristy areas are much more uh, accessible and less crowded. And uh, the, as you can see, the landscape is just as beautiful as in the summer, although I have to say I prefer winter, so for me it's even better. So here the valley opened up a little bit and I'm happy that I put five layers on because it lets the wind uh, coming in to the valley and it's just sweeping through, so it's quite chilly. Uh, but I'm not sure what I want to do here. This is the waterfall, which I could shoot, but there is not much interest around here. There is the little river rushing down on this stone, but I'm not sure if that would work. And also, in this corner, there is a kind of a water is circling and uh, there are some foam in it which is not that nice i don't think it would work so i'm gonna hang around here walk the area up and down and try to find a suitable foreground for the waterfall the waterfall itself itself is uh, amazing and beautiful and magical but you know, in many times, which is good for the eye, doesn't look good on a photo. And uh, this is exactly the case here. Okay. So this is the other end of the valley. Another stream rushing down on the rocks to get to River Nevis. And uh, it's beautiful. I don't know if there is a photo here to be had. I'm gonna walk around the area. Not much greenery uh, on the rocks and uh, on the trees 
so not much moss so I'm not sure if I can find here a photo but don't get me wrong the landscape is beautiful I feel, feel like an end here next to the towering peaks and rocks so there are some lonely trees here and there which might work as a foreground interest So I have shot this little scene in front of me. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I just really like this tree on the right side of the frame. And I also included these uh, rocks in the foreground. And I excluded the big, uh, bigger fall from there because it's just too bright and uh, I can't go below uh, 1 twentieth of a, or over 1 twentieth of uh, seconds for shutter speed and that's a problem because the water is just going to be too washed out. I'm going to move over a little bit and try to shoot it from a little bit more distance and focus into the zoom into the scene a little bit further. When I first started to learn photography and landscape photography roughly 15 years ago I had a teacher who said that if you can find a higher vantage point at a higher elevation then you should go for it because the higher elevation opens up the landscape and it's very true. I just came a bit further on the path and obviously it's an incline so I'm a bit higher up now and look what you can see here the water of Nevis leads to the green hut at the back of the valley and also these rocks in the foreground leading down to the stream it's very nice i can imagine on a sunny day or not sunny day and the clouds are blue and there is another sunrise or sunset you can see some pink hues it can be especially wonderful spot so i'm just gonna take the shot as it is no pink hues no blue skies I have a little bit of snowy peaks and uh, yeah, go with the weather. I got back to this waterfall and I have to say this is the only one which is to my liking 
I already took two images of this area with the tree, the rock, a wider one and I zoomed in to a smaller uh, mossy rock as well and um, let me show you, let me show you what I'm gonna do next so I'm gonna crop out that area where the tree roots are and the stream coming in with that stripy rocks that looks fantastic I got back to the car park which has filled up quite nicely since I left. I uh, met quite a few people on the way back. Uh, after shooting uh, those waterfalls on the way back I found a little stream with uh, bright green mossy rocks around it. I love those kind of greens so I stopped and took some images. I'm gonna show them now. The rain has also arrived as it was forecasted. I think I'm gonna go back and on the way back I'm gonna stop just to have a look at the main river, main uh, stream, the water of Nevis. But I don't think I don't think I'm gonna find any good uh, composition there. I struggled three years ago. The water is too much in this time of the year in the river and I prefer smaller streams. Although it's amazing, beautiful here and I might find something, I don't think I'm gonna stop. I had my fair share of photography for today and it's raining heavily so I don't want to get soaked and it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I'd rather get a hot meal and call it a day. I I think I got the most out of today. I managed to do photography when it wasn't, wasn't raining. So maybe next time when I come back I'm gonna start here. And uh, after the hot meal I'm gonna go home and prepare for my last day. See you tomorrow.